Welcome Taurus to your weekly reading. This is for the 11th to the 18th of December. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Taurus, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you for this week. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. The first message you have is number four, higher power. Taurus, this is such a beautiful energy to get. When we get this, we are being told that you are very connected to divine this week. And Divine will be communicating with you via your intuition, your third eye. So you might be getting downloads in your dreams. You might be seeing signs and symbols. And we will see what that is all about. You then have number 27, exchanging gifts. And exchanging gifts, my dear Taurus, is all about the energy of reciprocity. So it tells us whatever you might have put in to a certain relationship situation, there is now the possibility of getting this reciprocal energy back. It's the energy of give and take. Let's go ahead now and start off with higher power and I'm going to get your clarifiers. So we just want to see now what this higher power energy is for Taurus, please. We have the Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Taurus. Divine is working with you this week over a particular situation where you are feeling the Five of Cups energy. Now, Five of Cups is the energy of crying over spilt milk, something that has happened in the past and going over it and over it, analyzing it, looking at different scenarios. If I would have done that, then this could have happened. If I would have said this, then maybe she would have done that or he could have done that. It's this endless energy of just going over something that you cannot change. That is our spilt milk scenario. And remember, my dear Taurus, when we go back into the energy of regret and disappointment and hurt, it brings us down. It lowers our vibration and we can enter into quite a dark energy. Your divine team are coming through and they want you to work with Queen of Swords energy under this message. Now it does not matter if you're masculine or feminine, we are talking about the energy of the card. Can you see how our Queen is facing our Five of Cups and she has her sword up? Now, Queen of Swords is a very smart, intellectual queen. This is the queen that takes no nonsense to us. She looks at a situation for what it is. She doesn't get emotional about it. She doesn't let other people's emotions and feelings cloud her judgment. She looks at the situation and then she makes her decision. You're being asked to bring the sword into this energy to cut through the energy of the spilt milk going round and round cycle. End it. There's nothing you can do. With our Queen of Swords energy, look at the two cups that are still standing. There is something very viable here in those two cups. The reason I'm saying that quite strongly is because we have three of cups coming out. Divine wants you to see that there is something very positive in your life at the moment. 
And you might be missing it, my dear Taurus, because you are focusing on something you can do nothing about. But if you turn around and see what these two cups are that are still viable, these two cups are going to be different for everybody. They could be your family, your friends, your home, your job, your career, you name it. But there are things in your life that are still good, still possible. There's still opportunity to be had. There is going to be an incredible turnaround when you shift out of this energy and acknowledge what these two of cups could be for you. Because we move straight on to three of cups, which is the energy of celebrating, rejoicing. So I feel by working with Queen of Swords energy, you're going to cut through this energy, remove this dark cloak from what you are feeling, turn around and look at what is really going on, where possibility still lies. And this energy for me is the energy of relief. Okay, you know what? It's not so bad. I still have amazing friends. I've got a great family. I still have a beautiful home. I still have my job. And you get out there and you celebrate what you have, where you are blessed. Very strong message coming through. And higher power is going to be working with you to cut through the Five of Cups energy and bring you into our rejoicing Three Cups energy. Very nice, my dear Taurus. Now let us see what exchanging gifts is all about. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we just want to see now what this exchanging gifts energy is for Taurus, please. The Emperor the star and the page of wands. Right, let us see what we have here for you, my dear Taurus. Let us just shift this up so we can see this clearly. We're working on this energy over here. Taurus, there is somebody who is coming through with the emperor energy. Now, this could be a masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. Because they are presenting as an emperor, this is a very strong personality. This could be the head of a family, the head of a company, a senior manager. This is a very strong, very confident and opinionated personality. Our emperor energy this week is coming forward because they are going to be approaching you in some way with the energy of appreciation. This is our exchanging gifts energy. For example, my dear Taurus, this could be your boss coming in and commending you for a job well done. And our exchanging gifts energy could be the energy of a promotion, a bonus, an increase, something like this. This could be the energy of your partner who is presenting as an emperor energy coming in and saying, my gosh, Taurus, you are always there for me. Whenever I need you, whenever I'm down, you are the one that I can rely on. Now I want to do something for you. Let's go away, just the two of us. Let me buy you a gift that you've really wanted for a long time. I see a wonderful energy here of gratitude and appreciation for who you are, my dear Taurus, and what you have done. Now, you might not even be aware of this energy. You know, Taurus, sometimes we go about our business and we are not even aware how we are supportive or nurturing to the people around us. But somebody sees everything you are doing and they want to come in and bless you, give you something of value because they can see what you have done. They see who you are. They see your value and they want you to know 
your kindness, your compassion and your good heart is seen, valued and appreciated. So please take this in an area where it might resonate for you. But, my dear Taurus, I do think you're going to be receiving something wonderful. Something that's going to make you feel appreciated, loved, seen and acknowledged. I love this energy for you. I think you're going to really enjoy it. Right, let us move on now and get a message from your guides for the week. So we just want to see now what Taurus's guides would like to share with them for this week, please. Self-esteem, number 16, Guardian Angel Michael. Your lucky number this week is 16. Any combination or variation of the numbers 1 and 6, please consider very auspicious. Guardian Angel Michael is coming in and they want you to know that under both of these energies, you are going to feel your self-esteem rising. As you shift out of Five of Cups, as you understand this is not a place to be. There is still so much going on and you do manage to remove this dark energy and get into this energy of celebrating what you have. Immediately, Taurus, your self-esteem will be affected because you are lifting yourself up from this energy. And then we have our Emperor energy who, without a doubt, is really going to enable your self-esteem to soar because they see you as the star. They see you as a gift that came in and now they want to bless you and reward you in a way that is meaningful and significant to you. Lovely week coming in. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.